Hey guys, welcome to a uh, quick video just showing off uh, this website pythonanywhere.com. If you visit that website, uh, this is their little landing page here. Uh, they do have paid accounts, but they also have free accounts that so you can just sign up for their free account um, and pretty much use everything. The only thing they won't let you do with a free account is do outbound HTTP requests, mostly probably because people would abuse it and do like DDoSs and stuff like that with them. So uh, that's probably why. But anyway, you can make a free account and it's super cool, super easy. And I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff that you can do with in there. And just as a side note, uh, I'm not an affiliate or anything. There's no affiliate link. I'm just kind of showing it off. They're not paying me to do this or anything like that. Uh, I just think it's a really cool website. Um, so anyway, uh, when you log in, you look something like this. You pro if you didn't buy an account, you don't have as many seconds as I do. Um, but anyway, uh, so when you get there, you have something that looks like this. You've got files. You've got consoles that you can run. And so it's a lot like having it is your own pretty much VPS, right? So you, but it comes with just everything Python. So if you, you know, are following the Amazon Web Services tutorial video, and you're probably all pretty much all my subscribers just are all about Python, right? So I'm assuming that a lot of people watching this are that's what they're interested in anyway. So um, I think it's definitely a good good website to show off <laughs> real quick. Uh, so they've got everything Python here. They've got 272633, and they've also got the IPython, PyPy, and then also you also have like, you know, your typical bash, right? So your, you know, typical command line where you can do all kinds of fun stuff. And uh, there's not too much here, but there's a few things. Um, so you have that, but also what makes it nice is if you are looking for a place to run, you know, your Python scripts kind of like in the cloud, so to speak, uh, you can do that with this website and so like for example I'll go to my files tab and I have this test.py script so we'll click on this and here it is just a sample script of um, my API one minute I'll have to uh, authorize this auth token though alright so I got the uh, auth and that'll sort of <laughs> at least work um, so it's just this the script here is just something that accesses my uh, sentiment API on Centdex uh, and it'll feed through like this text here. So I'm super excited to use this awesome sentiment analysis API. Anyway, so now you know we could do anything we wanted like adding you know like var2 for example and you can edit the script uh, so we can say this is 56 right and you can either just save the script or you can hit save and run and it's going to run the script for you. So now it's running it's returning a 4 since it was somewhat positive uh, text there. But the best thing is, you don't have to do any of that stuff I showed you with AWS anymore. So we can close out of this. It's still running. We can go to dashboard, and here is TestPy still running. We can click on it, probably see more fours than were there before, right? So now it's you know halfway through the page, a little bit further, and so we can go back to our dashboard, and we can even log out. So now we've completely logged out. We'll wait a few seconds here, and maybe I'll pause it. I'll pause it and let a few more, so you'll see when it's a full screen of fours. All right, it's probably all set, so I'm gonna log in. And so you can see our stuff is still running. If I open this up here, um, indeed we have more than a four, full page of fours. I'm gonna go ahead and interrupt this so we stop spamming my uh, website. <laughs> uh, come back to dashboard here and uh, well, come over here and say, even though you know we interrupted it, uh, we still wanna kill it. Uh, so we'll hit kill, that sounds horrible. Um, so you can do that. The other really neat thing that you can do, well one, obviously it's like your scripts are everywhere, right? So you just need a, a web browser and you can visit your scripts. Uh, but the other thing you can do is actually share the consoles with somebody else. So as you code in one console, someone else can view what you're coding in that console at the same time. Um, so obviously like, that's really cool. So if you wanted to like, you know, uh, collaborate with somebody, you can share the console and, um, kind of see what everybody's doing. So that's actually uh, pretty pretty darn impressive, actually. <laughs> Even just like the web, you know, Python consoles is pretty cool. So um, those are just some basics. It also has obviously MySQL. I'm wondering if I can get a list of all of the, uh, I've seen it like, before, here it go, batteries included, I think, yeah. And so this has all like the, everything for Python 2.7 that it's got installed here. It's got everything uh, to six that it's got, and then it's got a list of Python 3.3 stuff that it already has. Um, so one of the nice things about like all of this is you can use all of these uh, things that are just pre-installed, like Cython and all that stuff, and it's already pre-installed and it's going to work, right? 
so sometimes installing various things can be very tedious and annoying, but you don't have to worry about that here because everything is done for you, including you know Django and all that stuff too. So really cool website, a lot of stuff that you can do with this. Um, it's not too bad pricing wise. The, the, the account that I currently have is like $5 a month or something. And you can already do a lot. The reason why I maxed out my seconds this time is I, I ran a uh, the Twitter Twitter feed through it just for a little bit because I was just trying to gauge how many seconds it would use. And that was, uh, it used quite a few seconds to say the least. I ran it for a few hours. But anyway, um, neat website. Definitely check them out. Um, again, I'm not, not an affiliate or anything like that. I just really like the website. I think it's a good idea. And uh, it's pretty neat. Uh, so far, all of my interactions with them have been pretty good. And the stuff that I see them posting about and stuff, it seems like they're really on, on top of it. Um, so that's pretty neat. Uh, they've got pretty good reliability. They're improving the reliability now. Um, so I haven't really been with them long enough to give a good uh, estimate of as far as their uptime. But you can check various websites. And you might even be able to find something on their forums. They're pretty transparent about everything that's going on. So uh, definitely a cool website regardless of what you plan to do with it. Even if you just want to use their free account and be able to code Python wherever you go. Uh, definitely something to look into. So anyway, hopefully you guys uh, found that interesting. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support, the subscriptions, and until next time.